Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I just got my Misfits box and this order is completely customized. They're no longer doing the Mischief and the Madness box. Instead, what they're doing is they're allowing you to add whatever you want to your order. This is like, oh, amazing. I'm so happy. And allowing you to select from everything they have and charging you a fair and low price for those items. This is amazing and I'm so happy that Misfits has done this. Yes, Misfits, thank you for doing this. And if you have not had this option yet, you probably will soon. It sounds like they're trialing it and testing it out and rolling it out to customers a little bit at a time. So this is the first time I've been able to do this and it was pretty awesome. I'm gonna actually put up on the screen right now and show you, I got an email that explained it and then I got an email when it was time to go in and choose my produce that I wanted and I could select things and how many of them I wanted. I mean, that's just fantastic because that's really been an issue with, with Misfits as far as I'm concerned. I always wound up with a lot of zucchini and summer squash when I didn't really necessarily want zucchini and summer squash or a lot of lettuce that just didn't keep very long. So this is a completely custom order with things that were previously in the marketplace as add-ons. We're gonna get it open and find out what I selected. they put the ice pack on the top. That just doesn't make any sense to me. So if we could fix something else, that would be it. So they're talking about some of the things that are available right now, about products they love for the season and things that are available for April and sheet pan pancakes. That is an interesting sounding recipe. Uh, peanut butter smoothie and products that they have to make the smoothie. And if you're not already getting your groceries and your produce from Misfits, there's a link in the description down below where you can save, I think it's $10 off your first order. I think, it might be 20, I don't remember. But go in the description below if you're interested in trying Misfits and click that link. You can save some money. So we got some pea shoots and they're a little banged up from the ice pack that was on top of the box. I don't know why they keep doing that, but I love these. They're really hardy. They hold up well. These have an expiration date of April 6th, and today is, today is April 6th. So this isn't the freshest, but from my experience, they last a lot longer than that expiration date says. And this company, Element Farms, is local to me. They're in Lafayette, New Jersey. So it's nice that in this case, I'm supporting a local company. We got some bread. This is different from the bread we've gotten before and it was a little bit more expensive. This is organic unbleached wheat flour, water, sea salt, and that's it. So, wow, three ingredients and one of them is water. So that's pretty good. It's non-GMO, which it would be because it's organic. And does it have an expiration date? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to use this before some of our other ones. There's no expiration date on here that I can see. What about this one? Oh, this one's open. Oh, but you know what? That doesn't matter because it's really the bread inside and this is sealed. So is there an expiration date on this? There is. Used by October 1st, 2021. So it's April. I have until October to use these. It is kind of nice to know that it's sealed inside. So this outside packaging is, we'll call it faux packaging. The real packaging's on the inside. Some corn. And these are whole ears of corn this time because remember that time we got half ears of corn? That was pretty silly. 
but this time we got whole ears of corn and we we really do love corn on the cob and it's organic which is important with corn i know i say this every time i get corn but it's so important to make sure that your corn is organic or at the very least non-gmo because so much corn in this country the united states is from gmo seed and you really want to avoid that Health Warrior Chia Bars, I like to stick these in my bag when I'm having a day where I don't really have time to stop. Uh, sometimes I am at one rink in the morning and I have 40 minutes to get to the other rink for the afternoon. That's hard to do and there's no time to eat. I put a couple of these in my bag so that I can at least eat something in the car while I'm driving. I've liked these. This is a uh, a variety pack. So this includes coconut, mixed berry, chocolate peanut butter, dark chocolate, caramel sea salt. And it's non-GMO, no sugar alcohols, gluten-free, vegan, very low in the added sugar department. Each product has different ingredients, so I'm not going to read all of them. I'd be here all day. Don't think you want me doing that. So this is for me. There's 15 bars in here. I forget what it was, but I'll put the receipt up at the end and we'll go over that together. Some organic vegetable broth. And this is great because I'm making pea soup today and I just realized I didn't have vegetable broth in the house. So now that I have this, I have the vegetable broth to make the pea soup. It is organic. It is Swanson. I prefer not Swanson. You know, sometimes we make do. It is, let's see, how is this in sodium? It's a little high in sodium. It's 530 milligrams for one cup, so it's a little high. Water, carrots, onions, mushrooms, celery, carrot juice, onion juice, sea salt, potato flour, spices, and it's all organic. So this is pretty good, aside from the sodium being a little on the high side. We have some baby spinach, and this is open. See, this is from the ice pack that they throw on top. Look, it crushed it. This is organic baby spinach, and the expiration date is 4-11. So if it wasn't opened, I'd have a little bit more time to use it. I feel like it was opened in transit because it's a flimsy wrapper, and it was banged up, but I'm able to stick it back together. And this is Earth Greens some Brussels sprouts. These are nice and little. Nice small Brussels sprouts. Some lemons. I believe these are Meyer lemons, but I'm going to have to check that receipt, so stick with me here till the end. We got some partake chocolate chip cookies because these are always good to have in the house. These are just a little beat up, not as beat up as the last time we got them. And these are the top eight allergen free, vegan and gluten free. So nut free, egg free, wheat free, dairy free, soy free, fish free, which is good because I don't know about you, but I don't want fish in my cookies. Shellfish free, mustard free, sesame free, and sulfite free. So these are pretty good. Nice to have around the house. And I've gone over the ingredients on these before, so I don't feel like you need me to do that again. If you do want me to do that, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Some snow peas, organic snow peas. A cucumber. We haven't had a cucumber in a while and I've been looking for cucumber for salad. It looks like we are missing the romaine. I know I ordered romaine. I'm not seeing that in here. Some green beans and these are a little brown. I don't know if you can see that. They're a little brown. Something is wrapped. What is this? Sesame tahini paste. And this I get so I can make hummus and tahini sauce for falafels. Because we do, we do try to do like one day a week that we do plant-based, meat-free. So I like to use that on those days. Some yellow mustard. Broccolini, this is a small broccolini. It is purple broccolini. I got two of them because 
I mean, I eat one and Colin eats one, but we love broccolini. Some kale, and this is the flat leaf kale that we like. It's a small bunch. Some tomatoes. These are nice looking. They're a little on the pale side, but they look okay. I didn't order this. And I didn't order this. I ordered romaine and instead, I, why would you put hydroponic lettuce at the bottom of a box? Tell me, misfits, why would you put hydroponic lettuce on the bottom of a box? So look what's happened here. It's gotten smushed and the dirt is now all over the lettuce. And I know I had ordered romaine lettuce and not this kind of lettuce. It's a little disappointing. Some eggplant so I can make eggplant parm because again, we do like to do meatless days. And some flat leaf parsley. This is correct at least. Some fennel, beautiful fennel. This is really pretty fennel. It's a small bulb, but I like to use this stuff. I'll probably put some of that in the pea soup. Some yellow potatoes, Yukon gold potatoes. More of them. This one's really tiny and this one's really big. And that's the kind of thing you'll see with misfits. If you've never ordered from them before, you get things that are a little misfit, which makes sense. Oh, another potato. This one looks like a russet. Looks like we got one russet. Unless maybe, no, those are all, we got one russet potato. That's weird. I'm gonna have to take a look at that receipt. And some very large limes. We've been getting small limes and now we're getting large limes. So let's look at this receipt and see what happened here. The tahini sauce was $3.99, the pea shoots $2.99, the tomatoes were 99 cents, organic russet potatoes, it says two to three. We only got one for 79 cents. I'm gonna complain about that one. The organic gold potatoes, $1.95 for five of them. The organic flat leaf parsley, 99 cents, the limes, $1.56, Tuscan kale, $1.49, fennel, $1.59, cucumber, it says one to two count, we got one, and it's 89 cents. The organic green beans, 12 ounces for $2.29. The vegetable broth was $1.99. The organic yellow mustard, $1.99. The chia bars were $5.99. Organic sweet corn, two of them was $1.99. I feel like that's normal. Organic snow peas were $2.59. Organic Brussels sprouts, $2.99 for a pound. That's pretty good. Organic Meyer lemons, they were Meyer lemons, four for $1.99. That's a pretty good deal. The romaine lettuce didn't get. I was supposed to get two for $3.18. The eggplant was two for $3.98. The organic spinach, the baby spinach over here, that is $2.99. And the take and bake bread was two for $7.98. And the cookies were $3.99. So my total was $65.15, but I did have a credit of $30. So with shipping, this was under $40. It was $39.65. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so let me know, what do you think of this order? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know if I got a good value. Also let me know if you've been able to customize your box yet with Misfits. And if you have, how did it go for you? Do you like it better? Did you prefer not knowing what you were gonna get? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if you haven't been able to, 
customize your box with misfits yet leave me a comment about that too do you want to do that let me know how this compares to the prices at your local grocery store your favorite grocery store whatever it is locally leave me a comment about that too and if you like this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe so that you never miss a video i post at least three videos a week at least one of them is an unboxing very soon be fully vaccinated because it will have been two weeks since my second shot of the Pfizer vaccine. And I plan to go back into the grocery stores and bring you with me. So you don't wanna miss a video. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new one. That's all for now. This is Amy. I will see you real soon. Bye.